If you like this video, then please do subscribe. Let's get to it. In October 2021, Jordan Dugowie had a charge brought against him in Manhattan where he allegedly groped a 35-year-old woman. Coming to her assistance was a 37-year-old man who allegedly was punched and kicked by Jordan Dugowie and his friend. This resulted in Jordan Dugowie being arrested by the police and being locked up for the night. This resulted in a court case which was eventually downturned from assault to forcible touching which I don't know the difference but whatever and apparently the alleged victim suffered swelling but did not require medical treatment. Jordan Degoe was stood down from the Collingwood Footy Club and he made his return about eight months later. That was his first strike. Let's take a look at the Channel 7 news report on this incident. Eddie, Collingwood supporters wondering whether an incident in a rooftop bar on top of the uh, New York Hotel behind me might not finish the career of one of their most brilliant uh, midfielders. A, a, an outstanding player, but a troubled and chequered history now growing. De Goey uh, apparently accused at least of groping a 35-year-old woman on the dance floor and then with a mate punching and kicking uh, a 37-year-old man who came to her assistance. The woman called police. Dugowie and his mate were arrested and spent a night in a holding cell before a court appearance. Jordan Dugowie now has to front court here in New York on December 8th and there is a requirement that he make appearances, perhaps by telephone, depending on what he can organise, but appearances uh, weekly between now and then. Uh, the Collingwood star is in a heap of legal trouble here. There may have been a miscommunication between the body language or physical language. I don't know what you want to call it. There may have been a miscommunication between Jordan Dugowie and the 35-year-old woman. Does not excuse him from the groping action and then also fighting a 37-year-old after the fact. I think this is probably a alcohol or substance abuse issue that has stemmed from Jordan Dugowie. I don't know. What do you think? Unfortunately, this isn't the only time that he's got in trouble. Recently, he's got in trouble for flying to Bali and doing a very similar action to another woman. Let's take a look. So Collingwood gave Dugowie permission to go to Bali as part of their 12-day break between games. He has six days off. They are not commenting today officially, but on face value he has done nothing wrong. I think the point needs to be made, though, that he has twice been involved in incidents where there has been a significant misunderstanding involving women. Of course, uh, the nightclub incident in New York last year. Now, those charges of forcible touching were downgraded to harassment. Uh, the AFL did, of course, penalise him with a $10,000 fine. Collingwood has not banned him from nightclubs, and yet this is a player who is in contract talks for a deal of up to $4 million. Now, this is the most 12 weeks of his uh, most important 12 weeks of his career in terms of that contract. So, privately, Collingwood concedes this is a really poor look for Dugowie. And I think in this situation, with his history, what he's had in recent times, uh, the common sense thing would be to stay out of the public spotlight. Probably best to travel domestically, uh, or if you're going to travel overseas, make sure you're off social media and you stay out of the limelight. That's the level of common sense I would be expecting as the captain of Jordan Dugowie. No matter what the rules were, whether there was no rules, keep yourself out of that situation. But it's a choice. And, and I think in this case, Jordan has chosen indulgence over discipline. And, and that's something that all clubs are going to look at, Collingwood are going to look at, his teammates are going to look at. And at the moment, unfortunately, that, that seems to be a, a pretty regular theme for him, that he chooses indulgence over discipline. That's entitled behaviour that's not acceptable under any way, in any way, shape or form. You know, the public grabbing of someone's top in, in a public environment such as that, that's the entitled behaviour that has to be stamped out and, and, and can get players and should get players into more trouble than they have so in previous past. So should Collingwood have said, we don't think this is a good idea, R rather than just put the arms up and say, if, you, if that's the choice you want to make, off you go? Should, 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 the, should the club or should someone help the player help themselves? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, there's, there's different layers of this. I'm not comfortable with him travelling to Bali, but I can see the other side of the argument. Hey, he goes to Bali, he goes to Queensland, he goes to Warrnambool. You know, he's got four days off, we've got to trust him as an adult here. That, that's one layer. And then from a football point of view, to strip it right back, it's an opportunity to, to sacrifice and to be really disciplined as well. Because because he has been in great form okay. and Collingwood are on a roll yeah, yeah. and he's playing for a contract. So I think he's missed an opportunity yeah. from that point of view. Do you think from the rules, so from the hierarchy perspective, do you think Craig McRae is giving him an opportunity to prove himself? You know, like, as a new he, coach? Well, as a new coach, clean slate. That incident happened overseas before Craig McRae was appointed as coach. Um, or, or about the very start of that. Is he giving you an opportunity to... Uh, we're going to treat you like adults here. Yeah, we're going to treat you maybe. like boys. And what's, he, and what's he thinking now? Well, uh, well, well, you lose trust. Football player or not, this behaviour is not acceptable. It's at an elevated stage, obviously, because of his status in the AFL. But how many chances are we going to give someone who has this repeated behaviour? What is the AFL going to do about this? I don't know. Am I being too petty? Let me know. I think he should be reprimanded for this. I don't know what the sanction should be. AFL have to look into this. It's repeated behaviour. It cannot go on.